The quality I admire most about Ashley is her loyalty and commitment as a friend. Even after even having a long distance relationship for the last six years, she supported me through various challenges in my life that, and proved that we weren't friends out of circumstance, rather unofficial sisters. <laughs> Paul, I'll know, I know she'll show you the same loyalty and commitment in your marriage. It makes me incredibly happy to see Ashley with someone who understands her and supports her. I wish you both many years of happiness and love. I love you both. Cheers. <laughs> But on the night that Paul was born, um, Sean and I, um, I don't know if Sean remembers this, but um, we sat up late that night because uh, this is what we did. And we were thinking about uh, what kind of little brother we would have. Like, we're like, what do you want? I mean, what kind of little brother do you want to have? And so then when we visited the hospital the next day, Sean and I, and, um, we knew two things for certain. One is that Paul was going to be a huge pain in the ass. And one thing that I knew for certain was that I loved him completely when I met him. And um, as Paul grew up, and obviously he grew quite a bit, and um, these things didn't change, still a pain. And, and we still love him very much. But as I think back about that little baby and what kind of little brother I always hoped that I would have, and um, Paul has really become uh, more than I could ever have hoped. Um, he's generous and fun-loving, big-hearted, and a dedicated friend, and really the best friend that I could ever hope to have had. Ashley, you are my best friend and true love. The past five years with you have been amazing. I've had so many great times and created so many wonderful memories. Whether it has been the spontaneous weekend trips, poorly planned vacations to a cold destination during the winter, questionable Craigslist transactions, or any of the other adventures. You have been such a great sport and so loving. You're all a guy could ask for and more. I'm very much looking forward to being your husband. I promise to love and cherish you through whatever life has planned for us. I promise to never forget how happy I am to be yours. 
I promise to cherish you and the life we've built. I promise to never forget this moment because this is one heck of a love story. I always knew it was you. I love you yesterday, today, and every tomorrow. Ashley. Ashley. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my faithfulness to you. And my faith faithfulness to you. Paul. Paul. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Just a little bit more. Open the sky, pull down the Mr. Paul rain. and Mrs. Ashley. Ashley and I both knew Paul in college. He's pretty hard to miss. Um, I remember being at a SIGEP party one night as juniors, and Ashley and I somehow found ourselves in tall Paul's room. And we were pretending to be Maria from The Sound of Music strumming on a guitar. <laughs> Remarkably, this did not make him hate us. Soon thereafter, Ashley and Paul began chatting via email and Facebook, and here we are now. When I first met Paul and Ashley as a couple, um, there are things that you notice about them besides the height difference. Um, there are lots of other things. Um, their, their ease with one another, the comfort that they have within one another, how funny they are, their humor, their respect for each other, and their love. And um, I believe that two people could not be perfectly suited to be together as Paul and Ashley. So please raise your glasses to love, and friendship, and to Paul and Ashley. Congratulations, you two. I love you both. It's so